The oldest documented customer service story takes us back to 1750 BC in Mesopotamia, the cradle of Western civilization. A man named Nani bought copper ingots from a merchant named Ianasir. Turned out the product was mediocre. And so, as one historically did, Nani sent messengers through enemy territory to claim his refund. Ianasir wasn't having it. He sent the messengers home empty-handed. Thus, the first customer service complaint ticket was born. Fast forward a few thousand years to 1876, and it wasn't fists that were being exchanged, but radio signals. This was the year that Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, single-handedly changing the way customers interact with businesses. Well, not at first. Early telephones were sold in pairs and could only call each other. The real game changer came in 1894 with the advent of the switchboard. If you were lucky enough to have been born into an American family wealthy enough to own a telephone, complaining got a whole lot easier. The slow and steady democratization of customer service continued through the 1950s. Skyrocketing in the 80s, the golden age of call centers. Eventually, the kingdom of voice was confronted by a new power, online support in the form of email, live chat, and social media. Today, Businesses have swapped out switchboards for CRMs like Intercom or Zendesk. And automated support, especially with chatbots, has begun to take off. But consumers still prefer phone support for critical issues. We likely have one more customer service revolution ahead of us. Self-service. Businesses aren't just investing in help centers and FAQs to slim down operations. Customers often prefer finding the answers they need on their own terms and own time. A well-crafted help center means agents get more time to work on complex issues that call for their human touch and expertise. It's precisely this blend of artificial and emotional intelligence that'll redefine customer service going forward.